What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dennis down here, Bruce Ross Myers, Daytona Harley Davidson with the used bike spotlight. Guys, check out what I'm rolling out for you here today. We're looking at a 2014 Harley Davidson Street Glide. That's right, Street Glide in the illustrious Daytona Blue. That's right, that was a custom color for 2014. This bike's got a lot of extra goodies on it. Well, let's go ahead and get to it. Now we gotta start off whatever you're talking about a 2014 in the Daytona Blue is, is gonna be the paint. Okay, the Daytona Blue Pearl was a super in-demand color that year. It was very, very popular. Uh, it was only available on the standard model bikes, okay? So you couldn't get one and get the Daytona Blue on the special models, okay? So, which was really neat because you had this amazing custom paint that was encouraging people to buy the, st the standard model instead of the, the special, which was just a recent advancement for Harley-Davidson. But I just gotta point it out, that Daytona Blue has got a hard flake to it, a nice scalloping, uh, just an absolutely gorgeous paint job, and it's only available on a 2014 standard model. Okay, keep that in mind. It's not available on the Street Glide Special, only on the Street Glide Standard. Now, of course, one of the things you want to check on is going to be on the headlight, too. Okay, uh, the headlight system that you're going to see on there is actually from Kiriakin. It's one of the early generations of the Daymaker style headlights. Really, really high beam, high for the low beams, and then, of course, You've got a really, really high high beam. Trust me, people are going to be screaming, yelling, blocking their, you know, flipping their mirrors down or flipping you off. But either way, you're going to see what's on the side of the road and people are going to see you. And well, let's face it, that's the most important part. Now, the 2014, okay, came standard with a high output 103 motor. Okay, six-speed transmission that is traditional twin cam style motor. But whenever you look at this one, it doesn't necessarily have the traditional appeal of the twin cam. You can see those rocker box covers, okay? This part up here, right? Pretty much mostly an ornamental piece. I mean, it's gonna cover, uh, you know, the upper part of the motor, the rocker box and same things like that, but they're not necessarily a necessity to be able to maintain uh, the exact shape that the twin cam rocker box covers do. So Harley Davidson put out this chiseled collection that you see right here, okay? And it's a custom rocker box cover that you can pop on top of the motor and give it a really unique, uh, unique style point. And this is the chiseled collection because it's made out of billet aluminum and they are chiseled out. It's got a nice little, uh, you know, almost like a laser etched in there to catch the light. And something really stands out, looks good on the motorcycle. Um, this is an Arlen Ness air breather. Okay, and it's gonna go along with the chiseled line as well. And you can see up there on the front fork. Okay, somebody went ahead and they blacked this whole thing out as well. So having it blacked out, they also added a chiseled fork gator up there as well. So they've really got a lot of continuity coming through this motorcycle. Uh, now, that Arlen S is a stage one air breather, so whenever you deal with a stage one, you know, that always means one thing. That's right. A stage one usually means exhaust. Here, you got a nice set of CFR, okay, slip on pipe. So it's gonna be a good rumble going down the road. All right, you got that 103 motor, the six speed transmission. So you're definitely gonna have that thunder in your wake when you're going down uh, on that Daytona blue, beautiful street glide. Now, traditionally, okay, the street glide standard comes with the chromed out motor. So you'll notice that primary has not been chromed out. Uh, as well as the majority of the motorcycles has been already blacked out. That's not from the factory. Somebody did this, they sort of had an idea on the direction the motor company was going and they blacked everything out, of course, and they did fi finish it up with a chiseled collection derby cover. Now also you're gonna notice this saddle, okay? That saddle is a beautiful custom piece, blue with a blue stitch to be able to match it. Um, it's not a one of a kind production because I have seen this saddle a couple of times before, but honestly, I couldn't tell you the, the manufacturer, but one thing's really neat, well, let me show you. Now you can see how the saddle sort of gives you a nice profile. It's a very good custom look to it. Uh, the passenger pad is small, but it's got a nice cut, almost a true bucket platform back there. So even though you've got a really stylish seat, it's got a good firm composite, which firmer is better for long haul. I, and then this part here, it's sort of got like almost a king queen roll style, of, style setup with some blue stitching going through it. But what I wanted to show you from this angle here is it almost works like 
um, a tall boy style saddle from a motor company, which a tall boy saddle is designed to make to make it further away from your board, so it's going to move you back. Is how it works. And this one, it drops way back there. So me and my five foot eight lofty frame, usually I should be about here, is about where my riding position would be. With this one, I'm back almost a full inch. Is is how it proceeds or how it feels to me. Uh, I've been on one or two street glides in my day. So, and it's got a really great comfort to it. You know, a little bit thinner, a little bit narrower, and a little more of a custom look. So, definitely felt that was worth noticing, pointing out. All right, guys. Now, let's do a quick recap here. Okay, you're looking at a 2014 Harley Davidson Street Glide Standard. You're going to have the 103 cubic inch motor. You got the six speed transmission. Tons of blacked out accessories, including the front end. Uh, you've got the chisel collection on the rocker box covers, on the derby cover side. Uh, the derby's going to, or the whole primary is going to be blacked out. You've got that wicked custom seat, a nice set of CFR exhaust, some LEDs around there, detachable mounting hardware for the bike. Um, a beautiful machine. Now, this bike has got 40,000 miles on it, okay? 40,000 miles. Something I wanted to point out to you here because it's a very low price bike, okay? For this, 2014, we're only hitting this bike at 14,670. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh yeah, there's the catch. It's got 40,000 miles on it. There's no catch, guys, okay? It's a, there's a big plus whenever you come and you buy from us here at Daytona Harley Davidson. Okay, we do a one year powertrain warranty over this motorcycle, okay? And that's free with the purchase of the motorcycle. You do not have to add anything or anything like that. We stand behind these vehicles. I have a long list of inspection that we go through. All right, we are the number one seller for used Harley Davidsons in the entire United States. And it's because we stand behind a quality product. Okay, that one year powertrain is definitely gonna help you to protect an investment. Okay, you also get oil for life, which is never, you know, which is something that only we do here at Daytona Harley Davidson. So again, 2014, just a hair over 40,000 miles. Daytona Blue custom paint job exhaust. You've got the 103 motor, the Arlen S breather, all the bells, all the whistles. We're gonna let it go for 14,670. That includes a one year powertrain warranty and always our oil for life. So guys, give me a call. I don't know what you're waiting for. The phone number here is 386-671-7100. Ask for me, your boy Dennis. That's what I'm out here doing is trying to figure out a way to be able to get you in here and get you on a motorcycle. Or hit me up via email, dpiles at brhd.com. Or the best solution to all of it is come on in. It's Florida for crying out loud. Daytona Beach, Florida, no less. So come on in. Let's go take this thing or anything else you see on the showroom out for a ride. And we'll figure out the right bike for you. Until then, we'll see you on the road.